Hi, I'm Kevin Hicks and welcome to my channel, The History Squad. Today's film, a little video here, is about the White Rose Movement commemorating the death of Hans and Sophie Scholl and their friend Christoph Probst. Um, they were executed uh, under the Nazi regime by guillotine on the 22nd of February 1943. The White Rose Movement was uh, a peaceful movement they were predominantly young people. There was only 35 to 40 members. So Hans and uh, his sister Sophie Scholl and their friend uh, Christoph Probst were students at uh, Munich University. And as part of the White Rose Movement, in fact, they were central to it, they used to deliver uh, or distribute leaflets telling people in Germany, the southern states of Germany particularly, what the Nazi party was really up to. They were concerned about the amount of soldiers that were being killed and in one of their leaflets they were going on about the way the Jews were being persecuted and killed. Now Hans and Sophie were actually seen with leaflets in uh, Munich University by a janitor. He was a member of the Nazi party, he'd been in the SA and he uh, phoned the Gestapo the Geheimstadt Polizei, the state secret police, and doors were locked, they were captured. They, at first, the interrogators believed that Sophie was innocent, but she wouldn't have any of it, and she tried to protect her brother. Well, evidence also mounted up, and Christoph, their friend, was brought in, and within four days, they were on trial. Um, and on the same day, the 22nd of February, 1943, those three peaceful souls, think about it, the white rose, what a peaceful symbol, were beheaded by guillotine. The executioner recorded what Sophie had to say. I'll read it out to you. How can we expect righteousness to prevail when there is hardly anyone willing to give himself up individually to a righteous cause? And this bit really gets me. Such a fine sunny day and I have to go. But what does my death matter if through us thousands of people are awakened and stirred into action? Within seconds, young Sophie's head lay in the basket. She was just one of over 3,000 people executed by this execution. I'm not going to name him. But what he had to say about Sophie was that she was the bravest person he had killed. She's buried next to her brother and with her friend Christoph at the Friedhof Cemetery uh, in Munich. And you can actually go and visit her grave. It's incredible to think, isn't it, that in fairly modern history that somebody would resurrect the idea of the guillotine. So they've discovered uh, in a locked room a guillotine. They did so a few years ago, and it's said to be the very guillotine that executed Sophie, Hans and Christoph. Um, they don't know what to do with it, and I'm not surprised. Yeah, um, Adolf Hitler he ordered these machines to be made. There was over 20 of them made and they were distributed all over Germany. Uh, as I've probably mentioned, uh, 16,000 people beheaded by the guillotine. That doesn't include the people who were executed before, some of them by the ax. It's incredible, isn't it? But when I'm reading about it, I found this and it's, oh, it is such a twist. Cruelly, the Nazis even charged the families of those they had imprisoned and beheaded. Can you believe this? For every day that a prisoner was held, a fee of 150 Reichsmarks was charged. The executions cost 300 Reichsmarks. Even the 12 Fenning cost of the invoice was demanded back by the Nazi state. Wasn't it enough that they killed the innocent? That their families had to pay for it to be done? It's a bit of a tough film, this one, isn't it? It's uh, 
no fun in it at all, but I felt as if it needed to be said. Yeah, I've heard of the White Rose and of Sophie and Hans and Christoph. Well, now you know part of their story. Yeah, so if you have enjoyed the film, call it that, then thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not a subscriber, then subscribe. Ding that bell and let's get some more of these films out. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.